People are not as divided as they think on race and children. Many parents, teachers, and caregivers seem to agree on a basic premise. It is a premise I used to believe, that adults can choose whether or not to talk to young people about race. But what if I told you this premise is false? What if I told you we are talking to kids about race, even when we are not speaking? What if I told you we are speaking to our child about race whenever we get scared when a black male approaches on the street? What if I told you that teachers are talking to their students about race when they have lower expectations for Latinx students, when they expect Asian students to be invisible? What if I told you we are telling our kids who matters by who we don't ban and who we still feature in their lessons and books? Instead of asking, should we talk to kids about race, we as parents, teachers, and caregivers should be asking, what are we saying to our kids about race? Are we raising our kids to be anti-racist? Researchers have proven that kids see color, that they have an adult-like conception of race by three years old. As I write in How to Raise an Anti-Racist, kids see that lighter people are often living on the richer end and darker people are often dying on the poor end. Children are trying to figure out why. What are we telling our children through our nonverbal behavior? Racist ideas that darker people have less because they are less? Or anti-racist ideas that all the racial groups are equals, that there are bad rules and not bad people? Researchers have found that children are more influenced by perceptions of their parents' racial beliefs than their parents' stated beliefs. Many preschoolers said they'd like to have interracial friendships, but they thought their mothers would be sad or angry, perhaps because their parents are not modeling these friendships, particularly white parents who are the least likely to have interracial friendships. Actually, one study found that the racial attitudes of white four and five-year-olds are more closely related to the number of interracial friendships of their mothers than the racial attitudes. Children learn what racial groups adults are fearing, emphasizing, privileging, including, excluding, and normalizing, even if they never say anything about those racial groups. Our children are watching us. They are listening to our racial behavior. They are listening to what we do and do not do about racism. What are we saying to them about race when we do not say anything to them about race? That is the question.